Hurricane. This is Hurricane Helene, Category 3, winds now up to 120 miles an hour. We think it would maintain that Category 3 status. Now, you may say, but wait a minute, Chris, last night y'all said it was going to be a Category 4. So the top, or the top end of a Category 2 is 130 miles an hour. Um, uh, or actually a category three is 130 miles an hour. Above that, it becomes a category four. So with winds at 130 miles an hour, that was a cat four, whereas this is saying winds may be 120 to 125. So the, we're only talking a difference in wind speed here of about five miles an hour for a high end cat two versus a, if you wanna call it a low end cat four, it's still gonna be strong. It's still gonna cause damage. So don't say, oh, it's only a cat three. That is still a major hurricane. And we're only talking the difference there of five miles per hour uh, from a high end cat two uh, or cat three to a lower end cat four. Then watch that trajectory moving up through the Atlanta area <coughs> where we see a tropical storm still over us as that center of circulation moves through where we will be having those tropical storm force winds uh, that are moving on through and then it stalls out wraps up up to the north of us and things will be getting better during the day here now we heard from the governor and state officials a little bit earlier about how the state is responding in preparation for this impactful weather event coming in we want to take you now by phone to chairman rob pitts who is the chairman of the fulton county commissioner uh, chairman pitts thank you so much for joining us we heard from the state earlier. Uh, how is Fulton County preparing for the enormity of this storm and the impacts? Well, we've been working all day long in our emergency management office here, I along with the manager and the key executives, following the pattern, talking and listening to the national uh, weather people as well as our local people to get an idea of just how severe things are going to be. And what we understand is that uh, we're probably okay here in Fulton County until about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. But during the night and first part of Friday morning, um, it can be pretty rough for us here. So we're prepared. We have our people on standby. In fact, some people will be sleeping in our office tonight. In fact, they got spaghetti dinners planned and pancakes in the morning. But we'll be on top of things. want to assure the people here in Fulton County that our trucks are ready and that we'll be working with, obviously working with Georgia Power in case and we uh, probably with any fallen trees that may impact power lines and things of that nature. So we're prepared. Chairman Pitts, uh, we know the feeling here at 11 Alive. I've got my air mattress here, a pillow and a blanket, and uh, uh, we'll be doing the same thing here. Your spaghetti sounds really good, but we'll, we're going to stay here safe. We're not going to venture over to you. But do you think in talking with some of your constituents that people are taking this seriously? Well, I haven't had a chance to talk with a lot of people, but I do, or do I sense, though, the ones that I have, they're, they're, they're kind of taking the lead from uh, you know, what you guys and girls are doing, you know, on uh, TV and what we are able, the word that we were able to get out, and what they see that I mean, this I think people have really taken it more seriously than they have in the past when they see Atlanta on the map and see where it's going to hit. I think so. And that's good to hear, uh, and because that's what we want. We have been talking about this for a while. I hope that people have been taking, uh, you know, paying attention uh, to how serious this is going to be. And Rob, I, Chairman Pitts, I know that you have been here a long time as well as I have, and you remember some of those storms like Opal and Ivan and Irma that were very impactful yep. events here. And people a lot of times think, you know, we don't live on the coast. We don't have to worry about a tropical system, but you know as well as I do, we do get those impacts and they can can be uh, pretty strong and severe. And this one, we seem to be right in the eye of it, based on what I'm seeing on TV and what I've seen talking and listening to the people on the national scale, uh, national level as well. So we will be impacted by it. The question is to what degree? And that's exactly right. So thank you, uh, Chairman Pitts, for everything that you guys are doing in Fulton County, making sure that everybody's aware taking those actions to um, get our county ready uh, for this storm that's moving in. As you know, there's no way we can stop it from coming, but there are things that we can do to stay safe and prepare. And I'm glad that uh, you're seeing that there in Fulton County. And absolutely, and thank you for what you're doing as well. All right, thanks Chairman Pitts for joining us there and letting us know uh, how things are going there. And hey, well, I'm sure we'll talk again uh, later or either tomorrow, uh, and we'll be talking about the aftermath then. So thank you so much, Chairman. Uh, yeah. Thank you.
All right, uh, let's talk about that weather impact alert. We have been talking about this all week too. We issued this alert uh, at the beginning of the week for Thursday and Friday, and then we actually added Wednesday night in there uh, with that rain from the frontal boundary in, but we still have this weather impact alert in effect for Thursday and Friday uh, all day today. Tomorrow, we'll talk about whether or not we cancel this later in the day because the rain's gonna move out, but we're still gonna be dealing with some winds, so that could cause some impacts for people as they're outside cleaning up uh, some of the damage with down trees and those power outages as well. Uh, but the main impacts we're watching heavy rain, flooding rain possible, tropical storm force winds, and then the potential for storms that would mainly be on the east side. So prepare for some of those power outages. Be sure you have batteries. Make sure you're charging up your phones, uh, all of your devices there, uh, iPads, whatever you need uh, to still uh, be in touch here with society. And what I want to tell you here, we have a lot of platforms here at 11 Alive, like right now, we're not on air on 11 Alive, but we are on all of our streaming apps right now, giving you this information. We will be going wall to wall uh, after nightly news tonight through the evening hours and overnight uh, to help you walk through this system uh, during the evening hours and overnight hours tonight. But uh, what I want you to be aware of is though, we have a lot of platforms. The issue is if you lose power, of course we want you to watch us on 11 Alive and 11 Alive Plus, but make sure your um, devices are charged so that you can still get information from us on our 11 Alive app and 11alive.com on some of your devices. Now I know Wi-Fi might be tricky uh, with that, um, cell towers, I don't know if we're going to see a lot of issues with cell towers getting damaged as to whether or not you can even use your cell phone at that time. Uh, but just have everything charged up and ready so that you're not disconnected or unplugged just because your electricity is out. I not only making sure my phone is charged, uh, but I also have one of those, you know, rechargeable things you can plug your phone into that will charge it as well. We have those charged up at my house too. Here again is a look at our Georgia impacts tonight. We're watching that rain continue and the wind gusts that are going to start kicking up and those gusts, you know, maybe 25 miles an hour tonight. Some standing water and flooding as possible. The main impacts overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning when we see the heavy rain and flooding moving in, the winds will increase gusts 40 to 60 miles an hour, even higher gusts in some spots. And then a low tornado risk that's mainly to the south and east of us. That's overnight. All right. Then on Friday, early heavy rain and flooding, gusts